Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn startle test starter. For this, I'm going to use number one main engine loop oil pump starter. And there are two pages for this starter. So one by one, I will explain you and we'll see how this starter function. Before starting with the circuit, I just want to tell you something about uh, startle test starter. We use a startle test starter because uh, startle test starter is also called as reduced voltage starter. Why? Because uh, when we start in star, line to line voltage will be 400. But between the windings, in between the windings, you will find 230 volts. So the voltage reduced between the windings, which result in the reduce of current also. So voltage also reduce, starting current reduce and starting torque also reduces in star. So all these are the benefit of using star compared to delta. That's why we use star delta starter. Because in delta you will find in between in between windings you will find 400 volt. But in star in between the winding you will find 230 volt. Because of the voltage drop there will be a current drop and drop in torque also. So star delta is more used in heavy motors. Before starting with the wiring, I would request everyone to watch my dual starter video or dual starter with timer sequence videos to get more familiarization with these area, this power circuit and this space heater circuit because I am not going to repeat the same thing again and again and uh, take your time. So we will quickly see how this starter works. So first I will take the first page. So this is our uh, first page of main engine lube oil pump. This is your bus bar where 440 is present. This is a circuit breaker from here. The voltage is coming. This is the ammeter. So here are three contactors. You can see K01, K02, K03. This one is the star contactor. This one is the delta contactor. And this is the main contactor. This is your thermal relay. This thermal relay come in action when motors start drawing current higher than the set value then this plays a role and this will break this circuit here which will stop the starter this is a protection which is present in every starter okay this is a power circuit and this right side after this transformer all are control circuit so we'll move ahead to control circuit now this is 440 which is going to tapping sack there which is going to the circuit breaker after this circuit breaker we have a transformer which convert 440 to 230. So after the transformer, we have a connection for a space heater. You can see one side is this and the other side is this. These are these are space heater. This is a space heater. This is a lamp and this is the switch for this. So this is the main point K01. This is the main contactor. Once this contactor is going to energize, this will get open and it will stop the space heater. Okay. I think this part is clear and you know because I have explained all these points in my older videos. So we'll move ahead. Now this 220 is coming and this is this thermal relay is your normally close. So it will pass here and this is a switch uh, with two position off and ready. You can switch off the starter or you can make it ready. So once you place in ready condition, the power will move from here, one from this side. So we'll go to the next page. So guys, now you can see uh, this 5 and 5 and this N and N. They are connected to number 2 pages. So after this, in our uh, next page, the power will move like this and there is no stoppage. It will reach here. This K5 timer. This is a on delay timer. From this side also, there is no obstruction. So it will go and activate this timer. So once this timer is activated, it is set for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, this contact will get closed. So once this contact is closed, the power will be available here. You can see here, these two point. Now, so we have a switch here with three positions, standby, off and run. So at a time, you can select only one. If you select run, this will get closed. If you select standby, this will get closed. If you select off, none of them are going to get closed. It will be normally open. So let's assume that both motors are stop. Let's say there are two lube oil pump and both are in stop condition and there is no pressure in the line. Why? We have a pressure switch in both our 
we have a pressure switch in both starters. In few ships, you will find a single pressure switch for both the starter. But in this ship, we have a separate pressure switch which is connected to the same line for individual starter. So, we have assumed that both the motors are stopped and there is no pressure in the line. And now we are going to run this motor. So, this is closed and the power is available here. We turn the switch to run condition. Now the power will move like this. Okay. And it will go to both the direction. Here this is normally open. This part I will explain you in the last. This is for the standby. So this is normally open. The power is not going to move ahead. So it will be moving this side. Here also on top you will see both are normally open. So it will stay here only. So the connected part is this side. K03. So K03 is going to get activated. And this is the star coil. Once this star coil get activates, what it will do? We have a auxiliary contact here. So this will get close. Okay. And we have one more contact here. This will get open. You can see here we have a interlock here. K03 co coil is here and the contact is here. K02 we have interlock here. So at a time only one is going to run. So this one is the star. This one is the delta. Once the star coil is going to get activated, this will get close. This will get open. Now this line is broken from here because this is open now and this is closed. Once this is closed, what will happen? The power will move from this side to this coil. This is the main contactor. This is K01. Once this is energized, this will get close. This is a auxiliary contact and K01 is inbuilt with timer also. So you have a two timer contacts here in both in star and delta. Uh, let's say it is uh, set at three seconds. So once the power will move like this and this energizes, this will get close. The power will come like this. Now after three seconds, this will get open. This will get close. Once this is open, this will get de-energized, this will get open again and this will get closed. Now the power will be coming like this and now this is closed. So it will move like this. This is also closed because this is de-energized. So your delta contactor is going to run now. I will repeat one more time if you are uh, not able to understand. Once you connect to run. The power will move like this. All these are already closed. KO3 is going to get energized. This will get closed. This will get open. Once this is closed, the power will flow like this and it is going to energize this K01. Once this K01 energizes, this will get closed. The power will move like this. And after three seconds, these are going to change its position. This will become open and this will become closed. Now the power will move like this. This is closed now. This will move like this. This is this is also closed because this is de-energized once it opens. And now delta contactor will start running. So here after the K01 and K02 will be running until you are not going to stop the motor. So and this is the parallelly our meter which is connected here. I hope I was able to explain you all these. Uh, this is going to help you in tracing the contacts where all the connections are present. So I think this part is clear. Now we'll move ahead to standby switch. Now uh, guys, uh, we'll move ahead to standby mode, which is this part. We have to assume that other motor is running and there's a pressure in the line. And once the pressure is present in the line, this will be open. So this much you have to assume. We are going to keep this uh, starter in a standby mode. Once we select standby, the power will flow like this, but right now the other motor is running. So this will become normally open. So it will not move ahead. So it will move like this and it is going to activate this timer K4. Okay. Once this K4 timer is energized, this is for the auto standby start. Once this K4 timer is energized, this contact will get closed and this standby light will glow. Okay. This is a on delay timer. So here we it is set to 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, this contact will get close and it is ready for standby mode. So after 10 seconds only, this starter is ready for standby function. 
now this much we have assumed now we have to assume a criteria that the other motor which was running it is having some problem and it stop so what will happen the pressure in the line will start reducing slowly and slowly and this pressure switch which was normally open this will become normally closed and the power which was going like this now it will travel like this and since this is standby selected and this is normally closed the power will move like this and the same function will repeat as i have explained you just few minute before so this pressure switch is the only one which is stopping this pump to run once the line pressure reduces this will become normally closed and the line will get connected and star delta function will activate so i hope i was able to explain this standby part also regarding this this is for the interlock for alarm inhibit all these are signal which is sent to your ecr or remote so all these for monitoring purpose so guys i hope i was able to explain you in a short time this function of star delta starter using my main engine lube oil pump so i will see you in the next video with auto transformer starter till then enjoy take care bye bye thank you for watching